Hey guys, it's Agonis Zimmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. And today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be introducing you to the XR Interaction Toolkit that Unity provided not too long ago. With this toolkit, we're going to be creating an experience that is not going to require any code. I'm going to show you how to set up a project. I'm going to show you how to set up some of the packages that we're going to need and also how to do a scene that is going to allow us to do plane detection. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. I'm going to name this XR Interaction Demo and then I'm going to place it in that location. Let's just go ahead and click on Create. All right, so it looks like we have the project created. Let's go ahead and click on Window and go into Package Manager. We're going to be focusing on packages because that's we're going to need four of them. So one of them is going to be AR Foundation. I'm going to be using the latest version of AR Foundation. So let's go ahead and select that. And it should install here in a few seconds. Then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to get the XR management because it's going to allow us to select which framework we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and search for that management. And I'm going to also click on make sure that I have, yeah, I have the latest version. So click on that to install it. And it says right here, package to provide simple management of XR plugins. So in our case, we're going to be using the AR kit plugin. So I'm just going to search for AR kit and extend the drop down here to select the version that matches the one that we're using for AR Foundation. And then lastly, we're going to be just downloading the, the most important component, which is going to be the XR Toolkit. Okay, which is going to be just search for AR Tool. And it's not going to show in the list because this is going to be a preview package. So make sure you click on preview. And we can just search for XR and hopefully we can find it here in the very end. And it's XR Interaction Toolkit. That's what I couldn't find it. And make sure that you have the latest version, which I believe I do, is 0.9.2 at the time of this video. All right, guys, so I think we're done with packages. So let's go ahead and concentrate in the Unity scene. So I'm going to rename this scene. This one is going to be XR Interaction Demo. That's going to be the default scene. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to delete this camera because we're going to need a different type of camera. I'm going to right click in here and go into XR. And you're going to see that now we have a lot of different options for XR. You know, we have the AR Session Origin, which you're familiar with if you watch my previous video. The AR Session, you know, the, all the interactors that, we're, that we can use. We can also look at some of the AR components that we're going to need in this video. So I'm going to click on AR Gesture Interactor. And as you can, you notice it's going to add a camera because I deleted the main camera. Make sure that I select the tag as the main camera. Okay, so if we look at some of the components that were added here that are really important, one of them was the track post driver. And you need to do, you need to make sure that you have that. Also the AR camera manager, the AR gesture interactor. This one is going to be the one that we're going to need to capture gestures such as, you know, touch gestures on the screen if we want to select an object. We don't need to change anything here. This is also going to actually add it a XR Interaction Manager. So this one is the one that is responsible for, you know, actually communicating with some of some of the interactions that you're going to need, such as, you know, doing an interaction on selection, such as doing a rotation. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a new interactable. So I'm going to right click in here, click on XR and then AR Placement Interactable. And as you can see, it added a new script that it's going to allow us to communicate with the interaction manager as a, it has a dependency of that. It also has different events that we can capture and also the placement prefab. So we don't have the placement prefab yet, so let's go ahead and create it. I'm going to click on folder. This one is going to be prefabs. I'm going to create a new object, which is going to be the one that we're going to be creating. This is going to be a cube. I'm just going to call it AR cube. I'm also going to be resizing this. Let's go ahead and make it 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0.1. Let's go ahead and get closer. I'm also going to assign a material. So let's create a new material. This is going to be just a default material. And I'm going to put that into a folder. And not another material, but a folder this time. And this is just going to hold all the materials. Drag it and drop it. There we go. And this one is just going to make it red. And I'm going to drag the default material to the actual object that we created. And this one we could probably just call it placement 
placement material, or you just call it placement, I think that makes sense. Okay, so now that we have our AR cube, we don't really need to do anything else in here. Just make sure that you are a zero, zero, zero. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it and drop it into my prefabs folder. And we should be done with that component. Let's go ahead and click on the AR placement interactable. And I'm gonna assign it to the placement prefab option. And that should get us going with that. The other piece that we're also gonna need is I'm gonna, I want to use a visualizer. And the reason for that is because it's going to allow us to see the planes and also the edges of the plane. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new empty game object. This one is gonna be the AR plane visualizer. And this component is gonna have multiple components associated with it. I'm going to be adding what's called an AR plane. I'm also going to be adding an AR plane mesh visualizer, which means that we're going to be needing a mesh filter because this is gonna create a mesh. It's also going to be needing a mesh collider and also a mesh render. I also need another material for that mesh, so I'm going to create a new material. This one is going to be just a plane. I can just call it plane or default. I think default plane is fine. I'm going to, let's go ahead and add a new game object here just to test it. And it's gonna put it right in here. We can just make it maybe a little smaller, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. I'm gonna drag it and drop it so we can assign it. And it looks like we already have it assigned. And in this case, I'm going to, this is gonna be the color of the planes once we detect them. And I also want to make it transparent because I wanna see through them. And then perhaps something like that works. And it's really hard to see if it's if it's transparent because I don't have anything beneath. So let's go ahead and add a cube. And I'm gonna just put that cube right beneath it. So that we can see, there we go. So we have, you know, a transparent, so I'm just gonna delete that cube. And I think this material, it's good as it is. So I'm just gonna remove the plane as well. Let's go back into the visualizer and then assign that material to the mesh render. Click on the default plane. Awesome. So now the next thing that I'm gonna to need to do, and let me go, go ahead and collapse all these because we're gonna need another component. The last component that we're gonna need is gonna be the line render. And normally this is going to show in that color because we don't have a material assigned yet. I'm gonna create a material for the line. So this one is gonna be a material as well. And we can just call it default line. And I'm just gonna drag it in, or in this case, let's go ahead and go into the line render. And I'm gonna go into my material option here, assign the line. And then I also need to, let me go ahead and go into emission and then just set it to white. So the edges are gonna be white and then the placement, the planes are gonna be a little bit of a, of a black. Let's go back into our visualizer here. And we also need to change the width. This is way too big. I'm gonna do 0 0.005. We want to make sure we don't do a loop because this is going to be showing on the edges of the plane. I'm also going to be using, let's go ahead and do four on the corner so that we can get a rounder corner around the, the points. So you can see that right there. I'm also not going to use world space. And then I think everything else should be just fine. All right, so now we have what's called a plane visualizer. So let's go ahead and drag it and drop it into our, our prefab folder. Excellent, and we can just go ahead and close it. And I'm going to go ahead and associate it with my Air and Play Manager and select it here. Awesome, so a lot of this is just boilerplate. We're just getting things set up. So now that we have an airplane, an airplane mesh visualizer, also all the components, so we need to work on what's called the object, the interactable object that we're going to be adding. So we need to go into the Air Placement Interactable and then make sure that we have the AR cube selected, which is the one that we have selected. So that's honestly everything that we need to do as far as like configuration within Unity on the AR piece. So now we need to do build setting changes. So I'm gonna go into build settings. I'm gonna click on add open scene. I also need to change the target, which is going to be iOS. Okay, so now that we have the project switch to iOS, let's click on player settings. And I'm gonna expand this so that we can see more of the settings that we need to change. Let's go back here and make sure that you are on the iOS tab. 
So because we're going to be using ARKit, we need to make sure that we are using version 11. So I'm just going to select version 11 here. We also need to select ARM64 or ARM64. And then the last thing that we need to set is going to be the camera description. The reason why we need to do this is because we need to tell the system, tell iOS, that we need to use the camera for augmented reality usage. So I'm just going to say XR usage. And I think, and we also need to set the required uh, ARKit support. So let's make sure that we check that. And I think that's everything that we need to do. I'm just going to double check. We have the AR session origin as a summary, AR plane manager, AR raycast manager in the AR session origin. We also have the camera with the tracks po post driver, AR camera manager, the AR gesture interactor that we need to be able to touch the screen and interact with the AR, AR world and also the air placement interactable which has the placement prefab that we're going to be placing on the planes all right guys so it looks like i missed one of the most important components of this training and that is the ar session we actually need an ar session before we can run anything in ar so it's going to move it up so normally that's the process you create an ar session and an ar session origin and then you know that it's the minimum requirements and also of course the camera so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build it and then I can show you the result as soon as this is done building. All right guys, so I got this built and I'm going to show you the results on my phone. So as you can see, I am pointing around my floor and it's creating the horizontal and also the vertical planes. I'm also placing the object that we created in Unity, which is the cube with the red color. So this is everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions on the XR Interaction Toolkit for Unity, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much, guys.